sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Carolina Panthers. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Throwing to start the drive, Mitchell. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. They go play action here on first down. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Mitchell looking to throw on second down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 29-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Partner, it was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Looking to throw, Mitchell. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. And on fourth down, they come up and take the knee. And that could be a major momentum swing here early. Because the defense stopped them. How great is that? They go for it on the first drive of the game. They're the ones trying to establish something, trying to assert a little dominance. And guess what? You turn it back on them and give the ball to your own offense. I agree with you. It could change momentum in a big way. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He completes this one to Mack. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And this is gonna be a Panthers first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. Quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. 
That's certainly one way to beat the blitz. Get it out of your hands quickly. Get it to the big fella. Very effective. Saw the pressure, got rid of it, and the completion ensued. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They'll try and run the option left side. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Second and three. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Mack. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. The throw over the middle taken in. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27 yard line. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. On second down, it's Fletcher. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. Now back to throw. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They'll set up a throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Panthers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and throw it his way. What a big-time play right there. 
both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw, Mitchell. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Butler. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Right back to him on first down. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Open man completes it to Butler. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. 
And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Butler down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Butler, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. to throw here and it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect well so much for getting separation no chance there locked down tight forcing the incompletion on that attempt so after the incompletion on first now second and ten Up the middle they go. It's Fletcher. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down. Fletcher and he'll only get this to the 47 he needed a few more yards to pick up the first it's a gain of five on the play and it'll bring up a fourth down I know they want to go for it here and I know that their fans want them to go for it but listen I'm gonna play head coach right here and look at the facts tie game plus even if you get the first you still got a half a field to go I go ahead and punt the football myself this is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. 
the Ravens offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down now, it's Butler trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And this will be down just inside the 30-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Second and 11. And he will find his man on the end round, complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Third catch in this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Fletcher, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 41-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. First down, he'll drop to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. He'll drop to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll look to throw again. Forced out to his left. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Back 15, back 15. 
second and nine now. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. And we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They'll set up to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Now a play fake here on first down. Buying time to his left. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. He's one back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it. So they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. 
I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Now Mitchell throwing to start the drive. Flushed out right. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Looking to throw. Mitchell, that's complete to Butler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield, everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. To throw is Mitchell. To throw on second down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And it's third and four now. As a defense, you're more bounced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, Butler. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four but got three. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Carolina offense about ready to go. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and 10. He'll look to throw. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. Back to throw, Mitchell. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mitchell now on third and two. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Back to throw again. And a quick throw here. That's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Mitchell. Off play action. His throw incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Looking to throw, Mitchell. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Mitchell looking to throw on second down. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Hartney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. On third down, Butler. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is...
is not near enough to pick up the first. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Fletcher. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now a quick slam as the throw is complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a nicely run slam route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Mack. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. They'll look to throw here on first down. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. It's a gain of 14 down to the 14. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first down, Fletcher, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Flush to his right. 
And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for it first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And they'll indeed take a knee. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick here is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25, as he will not attempt to return. And now here come the Ravens. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Ball at the 24 at a second and 11. Up the middle they go. It's Butler. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Back to throw. Mitchell eluding the pressure right. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. take the knee so now inside of two minutes they have only one timeout left and a field goal here and this thing's over or even a first down anything they give up here this thing is done so my guess about their strategy go for the football on his first snap try and pop it free they don't get that done immediate timeout preserve as much time as possible and then try and do it again if you're on offense just take care of the ball 
They'll run on first down. It's Fletcher. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Fletcher, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down, and now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down, and after that, the air just went right out of the balloon, and you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Carolina kick team is out there ready to go and they kick this one away fields it right around the goal line and this will not be returned it'll come out to the 25 so the Ravens now down by two touchdowns a minute 47 on the clock it's been a struggle to score all day and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance Now Mitchell throwing to start the drive. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The Panthers down to a knee out of the victory formation. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half, the adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.